and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate TV new guys. And today I'm going to go over something you guys have been asking for quite a bit now. Every day I get comments, should I sell this Redux card? Should I do this with this Redux card? Should I hold this Redux card? Are they worth the Redux price? Should I even have a Redux card? So you know what, instead of answering all those comments individually, I'm gonna give you guys a whole video that should give you guys the, the ideology behind how to worry about Redux cards and how to handle them without having to always think about it, right? In essence, the Redux cards are overpriced. No matter how you look at them, they will always be overpriced because they're limited time cards. Now it always comes down to how much, it's how much you like the card versus how much they're actually worth, right? See, if you like a card this much, but he's worth, you can't even see my own all the way up here. Sometimes it's not worth it. If you like the card, like, okay, but he's all the way up here, it's not worth it. Sometimes if you like the card more than he's worth, maybe it's even worth it, right? But I'm going to all the price of every player you guys have questions about. I'm going to everything for you guys. Now, before we get into this video, guys, this is kind of like a market talk. I wouldn't call it a market talk. I'd call it a specified market talk of anything. But for all you guys who are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that turn, hit that turn on that noti bell. Whew. Got jammed up there. And also comment down below what you guys are doing with your redex cards. And I know you guys just have that house rules event right now, so you guys are clearly worried about house rules and getting your redux cards, and you guys are all worried about all that. So obviously. For, uh, for us right now, it's an important topic, so that's why I figured I'd drop this. Since all of you guys are probably getting your Redux card right around these few days. And guys, remember, the likes yesterday were freaking crazy. You guys got 600 likes on one video, guys. That's that's like record breaking for this channel. Now, if you guys want to really break a record, we need 800 likes. So I said, I said, in my, I said I'm saying it on all my videos today, guys. You guys better, you guys should have already been liking. I don't know why you guys are still listening to me. Guys, if we get 800 likes on any video today, guys, you guys would have smashed the history books for, for my channel. So, we're going to do a giveaway. So, like I said in the other videos, comment down below any giveaway format you guys want to see. Coins, cards, Twitter, sub only. Comment down below what format you guys want to see. And if we can get 800 likes on any videos today, I will be doing the giveaway because you guys, you guys have earned it. Like, that was unincentivized. You guys did all that without me even asking. You guys just, I didn't have to give you, I didn't have to give you anything for that. You guys don't, you guys get what I'm saying? So, you start, start running up now, guys. I expect when this video to drops to refresh the button and just see likes 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 so smart smash it guys and if you guys can hit andrew likes on your video today i'll go crazy i don't know i don't know what i'll do anyway so let's get into this video that was a long intro all right sorry for that getting on over to the series redux cards now i'm gonna start off with the lower ones obviously because sadly those are an option to be pulled so i have to go over them for all you sad souls that pulled philip rivers rip to you guys i truly apologize see like if i pull philip rivers out of my house horse pack i might punch a hole through my monitor i really hope it doesn't come to that but it's very possible that that happens. Guys, I saw, oh, no, 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 you're right, you're right. You know, if I pull Philip Rivers after playing 130 games, I swear, I swear, I don't know what I'll do. Any of these cards, uh, like the only one I'll be okay with is maybe Christian McCaffrey, because I want to power him up anyways. I won't be happy about it, but like I'll be okay. I'll be indifferent about it, like whatever. So, starting off here, right? Anyone who pulls Philip Rivers, I'm gonna do this card by card. Anyone who pulls Philip Rivers is it auto sell, can't be used, not worth it. Devontae Adams, auto sell, the stats are horrible. Cameron Jordan's actually not bad. I'm not going to lie. I start him right now. Guys, if you powered up Cameron Jordan, he's really not that bad. He gets the play wreck threshold. With the right cams, he gets block shit threshold, power move threshold. He's really not too bad. I'm not going to lie. Cameron Jordan's okay. He's not an auto sell if you guys need a left end. Damon Harrison, auto sell. Can't really pass rush, can only run stuff, and he's too slow. In my opinion, auto sell. Christian McCaffrey. Guys, Christian McCaffrey is having a season for the record books. He's playing historically well, and they have not given him a card since this card. So I'm praying they give him a new crazy card soon, and I want to be ready for that. So I'm probably going to power him up anyways if I get this card. This card's up to you guys. If you guys are McCaffrey fans like me, maybe hold on to him and just wait until. But if not, just sell him for now, because I know you guys probably just want your coins. Travis Kelsey's an auto sell. 81 speed's too slow. I'd much rather get guys like George Kittle or guys like Shannon Sharp. Uh, let's see. Eddie Jackson. Auto sell, too slow. Mark Ingram, auto sell, too slow. Jarrell Casey, he's okay, but his run plot, his run, his run game defense isn't as great as it should be. T.Y. Hilton, decent. He's fast. He's not he's not worried. He's not the hard, he's not a horrible card, but I'd much rather have a lot of other cards than him, so I'd auto sell him. Sonny Michelle is too slow. Auto sell, in my opinion. You can get a lot better for that price. Ray Guy is a punter. I mean, come on, guys, it's a punter. I'd probably auto sell that on the spot. Tredavious White isn't bad, but I believe you can do better at that position, such as like Pat Pete or even Willie Brown. A lot of other things you can go with that. So, in my opinion so far, most cards in these range will be auto sells because they're... 
it, I mean, as we get up to these cards, right, the ones that are a little bit better, maybe not. Like, Kellen Winslow actually is pretty good. He's not horrible. Would I recommend him over some of the other tight ends? Probably not. I personally would sell Kellen Winslow, but I know a lot of you guys say he's beastly. Chris Godwin's actually really good. He's not horrible. But I feel like these Redux cards, like, see, these aren't too bad because these are kind of within their market range. So you could keep Chris Godwin. Everson Griffin, his block shedding is not good enough. So I feel like he can do better for the price again. Auto sell. Jadavis White went over already. Let's see. Telvin, Telvin Smith, we haven't went over him yet. Um, auto sell. Unless, it, if his zone's not insane, it's auto sell. He has to have at least an 80 zone. And we get to the zone, and what is it? 80. Okay, he's an 80 zone coverage with 85 speed. Eh, I'd still sell him for 200k. I don't think he's worth it. Willie Lanier, I'd sell him. I'd much rather have Devin White, Ray Lewis, Sharon Chase here before I have Willie Lanier. Let's see. Jamie Collins, senior. 84 speed, 86 tackle, no block shedding. He's not he's not good in the run game. He's not good as a that no. I, I'd rather have Telvin Smith. I don't care what his zone is. Jason Kelsey is actually pretty awesome. He's a really great center, but for that price, I'd much rather have Frederick, unless you guys already missed out on the Frederick train. Then maybe you could still keep him. But I'd probably auto sell Kelsey. Sammy Watkins, really great card, actually. I really do like this card. But for 300 k almost, I'd go in another direction. John Randall's actually amazing great he's all he's well rounded for a defensive tackle i wouldn't keep him for 320k though i'd much rather have like john henderson again other guy who's a high overall similar stats probably even a little better deshaun watson i love deshaun watson in real life but come on you can't justify this deshaun watson as he's an auto so i auto sold him too you can pan from lamar jackson way better speed he has slightly better throw power slightly better short accuracy slightly better medium accuracy slightly better deep accuracy and everything else is tight so pretty much, would you rather have a 7 plus speed boost or slightly better passing stats? But none of them are above 90 anyways. It's like Deshaun Watson's like a bad passing, a slower Lamar Jackson. So I'll pass on that. Evan Ingram. I actually love Evan Ingram, but I think you're better off powering him up and leaving him at an 89 because you get similar speed stats. I don't think he's worth 400k, but he's definitely glitchy. And then Dan Deodorf, guys. I know you guys want a right tackle, but 406k for a right tackle. I'll wait. I know there's scarcity in the game right now for right tackle, so I definitely wait on him. Now, I'm pretty much going to wrap up these. I, I want to get to the higher ones. I'm going to do a quick little recap. Patrick Willis, no. There's better linebackers for that price. Bo Jackson's actually still amazing, but I'd much rather just have Saquon for less. And Russell Wilson isn't exactly statted the way he should be for a Russell Wilson card. And I think that wraps up all these. Let's get to the higher ones. I didn't realize how long I spent on those. So coming on down to these. These right here. So Matt Ryan... I think you can do better. I'd rather have Steve Young, in my opinion, if you're going to go quarterback for that cheap. So I wouldn't go him. Alvin Kamara, guys, it's hard. I love Kamara. I love Young Bell. I'm huge fans, but too slow. Too slow for their prices. Again, Saquon's still better. So I have to, I have to say no for them. Calvin Johnson, guys, you have been asking me, sell him. For 520k, go buy Brian Dawkins for 190 and get a better car. A car with the same speed, pretty much. Similar play rec, similar zone, and way better hit power. And he's an actual free safety. Rob Gronkowski auto sell. Um, I personally like Powered Up Kittle. If you guys compare him to my Powered Up Kittle, the catching is similar on the, on the, the catch that. Obviously, he doesn't have the catch of traffic and the spec catch, but he has similar route running, way better run blocking, similar speed, and this is for uh, a fraction of the price. And then eventually, I want the full Kittle. Michael Vick is perplexing. I want him, but he's not really an upgrade over Lamar Jackson right now. And the other issue with him is that I feel like there will be a new quarterback soon, like Mahomes. I want to wait. I don't know what the meta is going to be. If it's going to be a escape artist, 80 speed throwing quarterback, or it's going to be a 90 something speed escape artist running quarterback. I don't know what the meta is going to be this year. Because with escape artist, 80 quarterbacks with quarterbacks with 82 speed that are can throw like a Mahomes could be kind of glitchy. So I, I don't really know. For now, Vic's a hold. Like I wouldn't. I mean, I'd probably sell Vic. I don't think I'd hold on to him for now. I think a lot of the Redux cards are sells. I really don't think many of them are keeps. Andrew Luck actually is the best quarterback in the game. I think. All 90 plus stats when you power him up. Plus, he can get a skate artist. Probably the best quarterback in the game. But again, he's too expensive right now. He should not be that price for 92 overall. So I'm saying most Redux cards are overpriced. It makes it very hard to want to keep any of them. So when you guys say, should I keep or hold? I always say just sell because they're going to come down in value. Joe Thomas, 700K, sell. Guys, I promise you, if you just wait two more weeks, three more weeks, they have to come down in value more. Especially if people keep getting their cards. George Kittle has went from a million coins to 726k in like three days, guys. I'm telling you, just keep waiting. It'll keep coming down. Wait till you get to the price that you feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable spending over almost a million coins on a card. But George Kittle, I love him. But guys, I think everything behind here is a sell. See, Julius Peppers is a sell. Jadavion Clowney is a sell. Now, guys, that I think might be a keep, right? Deion Sanders randy moss and donald are that good that if you guys can't afford it 
I would keep them. They are that different. They are that spectacular. If you can afford the coins, I'd keep them. If you get them out of your Redux pack, keep them. But guys, if you're like an 85 overall team and you pull Deion Sanders, just sell them. It's not worth having an 85 overall team with just Dion because having one cornerback is nothing in this game. You need to have a solid team with that corner because then people don't know where to go. They're getting under pressure. But if you have no pressure on them, they just won't look Dion's way. I'm telling you, Dion, Randy Moss, and Donald are different. They are the cards that you guys want to have to keep. But if you're a team like mine, like a 91 overall team, 92 overall team, over a million coins, and you pull them, fine, power them up, whatever, enjoy them. If you're an 85 overall team in 88, 87, no money spent, you get them, just sell them. You can do so much more with your team than that. Just don't blow the coins on packs, please. That's the one thing I ask. Guys, that does wrap up the Redux Market Talk. I hope that this helps you guys with your Redux questions. I know a lot of you guys are probably have a ton of questions regarding Redux. It's considering the time period in which we're getting tons of free ones. Guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, turn on that on bell. Come join the family, boys. You guys went crazy with the sub button yesterday. A bunch, over 100 new people joined the family yesterday. So appreciate you guys. You guys know who you are. And also, comment down below. What giveaway method do you guys want to see? What you're doing with your Redux cards. And guys, don't forget, better start running up the like button now. You guys might be a little too late already. You better get 800 likes today. I don't know if you guys could do it, but I challenge the whole Poodle fam to do it, boys. So, see if you guys can do it. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.